to have you back with us here on the cafe. Now this month sees the return of Pink Ribbon Breakfast, a chance for you to host a special breakfast with friends and to also raise money for breast cancer research. Singer, actually we called you a songstress before, I like that better, songstress Jackie Clark is among the famous faces lending their support to the campaign and joins us now on the sofa. Hi Jackie. Oh, yay! Yay! able to possibly beat your performance in the kitchen because that was something quite <laughs> special. No, no, now I'm a lounge singer. <laughs> <laughs> it's really lovely to have you here. Thank we you. had Michelle a. Court on the show on Friday. She's my twin. And uh, we thought she should just stay because she was saying you guys get mistaken for each other all the time. We do. I'm often getting a text and it'll be Michelle saying, hey, I did a gig last night and they, say, they said, what are you going to sing tonight? And, and she goes, you do not want me to sing. <laughs> and I'm always going somewhere where they say, oh, I love that gag you did about the such and such. And I'm thinking, that wasn't me. <laughs> we always just accept each other's compliments and yeah, then pass them thanks. on. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I'm every woman. If that woman isn't shallow court. <laughs> No, I just wanted to clear something out. I've read that you were a cleaner, a house cleaner, yeah. before you started singing. Well, I, I, back in the days, before university cost you anything, I, I was at Victoria University and I paid my own way through, through studying just cleaning houses. And actually, I cleaned a lot of houses for very powerful, um, powerful businesswomen and TV journalists. Oh. You should write a book, mate. Can you <laughs> imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine yeah, the secret? The secret. Taking you out for a coffee after this. Oh, cleaning up after the wife swapping. It's a very long. <laughs> <laughs> But you're here today to talk about a Pink Ribbon Breakfast Month mm. uh, because you're an ambassador for this. You've been an ambassador for years, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I've had an association with the New Zealand Breast Cancer Foundation for many years because I just believe in supporting you know, women of my age, taking responsibility for their health and being proactive and looking after themselves. And you know, breast cancer it still, still kills over 600 women a year in this country. So you know, it's a serious thing. And uh, you know, the foundation's great at creating these opportunities yeah. for people to have fun and basically get the conversation started and so girlfriends can get together and, you know, have a nice breakfast but also say, hey, have you had a mammogram? Where are you at? What's your family doing? You know, get those questions happening. And that's a really good thing to do too because I sometimes think if you have a group discussion about it, people can be a little bit scared about having mammograms. It's not really scary. Well, you it's know, a bit squashy, but it's, it's not squashy. scary, and it does feel good to know that that everything's good. Yeah, well, I mean, women, we're strong. We can do anything. If you can cope with, you know, having your bikini line waxed or standing in a <laughs> standing in a shop and, and trying on togs, yeah, that's that's point. more painful than a mam mammogram, yeah. I think. So, you know, it's just one of those things we have to do when we're women of a certain age because we're worth it. Yeah, you're right. Do you find the togs thing a bit of an issue too, Mike? When you're in the, you know, cubicle trying on your togs? <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> now it's two women talking, he switched off a while ago. <laughs> no, I've got a serious question, ladies. A serious Bring question. Back. Bring it back. Bring it back. And this is for everyone at home as well. Is it free to screen if you're over 45? Um... Yes, I yes. think it is. Yeah, it is. And, okay, cool. yeah, it is. and hey, even if it costs you a little bit, it's still worth doing. I mean, you should really be thinking about starting um, from 40, and you should really be thinking about doing it beyond the age of 50. I mean, into your advancing years, it's still important to get, to get those mammograms done. So, you know, it is free for mm. most women, but even if it's not, don't let that put you off, you know. And just ask. Ring your doctor. Find out. Ring, you know, just find out. We flustered you, haven't we? Yeah, no. <laughs> it's all the breast talk. I just keep thinking about togs now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right, ladies, you carry on. <laughs> I've got nothing else. <laughs> so tell me about the pink ribbon breakfast and what can we do? Or how do, how do we get involved? Well, anyone can um, can can have a breakfast. You can be a workplace, an individual. Cafes are doing it this year. But honestly, it's as simple as just getting your mates around and having some fun, talking about it, and you know, and donating as part of that process to the New Zealand Breast Cancer Foundation. Because all the money this year is going towards research, which is really necessary. We're hoping to get a one and a half million, you know, okay. so, um, and we can do it. Hey, and yeah. you could be really impressive. You could make pancakes with the pink ribbon in the middle of mine. Oh, yes. And that's what we have done. And we're going to come back and check out how that finishes up very soon. Yeah. Jackie, you are such a pleasure to have. <laughs> it's been Thank wonderful you. having you in the studio. Oh. So for all the information on how to sign up to host a pink ribbon breakfast, pinkribbonbreakfast.co.nz.